From its first appearance in Puerto Rico to worldwide reports of the legendary goat sucker, here are 11 of the weirdest chupacabra sightings. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. And we'll get along to our list in just a second, but first a shout out to the crazy Neko Girl 2123 She says she finds the channel entertaining and likes the episodes about creepy animals. Thanks for being a subscriber and cheers. Number 11, Frozen Chupacabra. A fella in Texas claims to have not only located the infamous Chupacabra, but says the beast was killed by his dogs. Philip Oliveira of Rockdale says his dogs killed the creature near a creek after barking like they had never done before. Mr. Oliveira holds a degree in biology, and he was so convinced the animal is a Chupacabra that he packed up the carcass and stored it in his freezer at home. He ruled out theories that the creature is a coyote because its skin has scales. He says that DNA analysis will confirm the animal is in fact the legendary goat sucker. Chupacabra on the Range A family in southern Texas claims to have shot and killed a chupacabra. While investigating a strange wailing sound outside the home, they located an unusual creature around 200 yards away. After a family member shot it, the corpse seemed to belong to a beast they could not identify. The creature's lack of hair, along with its fierce-looking canine teeth, prompted speculation that it might have been a chupacabra. While some wildlife experts claim the animal could be an animal with mange, the family says, they have bagged an actual chupacabra. Who do you believe? Zombie Dog a photo was posted on the Facebook by the New Hampshire Police Department, and it featured a strange-looking creature that commenters thought looked like anything from a zombie dog to a chupacabra. Other guesses included it being a sick mountain lion, or even zombie roadkill that somehow got up and walked away. Taking a look at the picture, it is somewhat out of focus, but the creature wandering through the graveyard does resemble a dog-like animal. The police issued a statement that it was not menacing or vicious, and the Fish and Game Department said to just leave the creature. HB. Chilean Chupacabra A farmer in Chile claimed to have found the remains of two chupacabras on the outskirts of a small town. The farmer, along with some associates, initially thought the remains belonged to bats. But upon further inspection, the group determined the creature's heads were too large to belong to those flying mammals. Instead, they became convinced they had found evidence of chupacabras. We couldn't find where there was any positive identification of the remains, but the suggestion of chupacabras did serve to stir up anxiety among the locals because there are many goats in the vicinity and local livelihoods are dependent upon goat farming. Now we actually thought the remains look kind of small for chupacabras which are sometimes described as large canine-like critters or having humanoid forms and standing around four feet tall. Ukrainian Chupacabra Did you know the Chupacabra is thought to have turned up in Ukraine in 2012? Locals said the creature had been sighted several times and blamed it for draining the blood of the livestock and house pets. Witnesses claimed the critter can jump like a kangaroo, and it does bear a resemblance to a small version of the marsupial. Local experts liken it to a canid, or even an agile animal related to weasels called a marten. Others have conjectured it could be some sort of mutant hybrid. We couldn't find where a positive ID was ever made, though. But one thing is certain, the chupacabra is definitely racking up the frequent flyer miles. South American Chupacabra The remains of a bizarre creature were found in Paraguay. Residents of Carmen del Parana say the body was found in the shallow waters of a nearby stream, and it's left some of them wondering if it might be the legendary goat sucker itself. Video taken of the beast shows that it has a pale white coloration and hands that appear human-like. After fishing the decomposed figure out of the water, local authorities conjectured that it might have been some unknown species of monkey, but we couldn't find where it was possible positively identified as such. But the cryptid can also assume a more humanoid appearance. So could the creature found in Paraguay possibly be a variation perhaps on the goat sucker? 
the Hell Beast. Now, what is being described as properly a mutant Hell Beast washed ashore a beach in San Diego, and its bizarre appearance has been linked to the Chupacabra. The animal on the beach was shown to have giant fangs, sun bleached skin, and a blonde mohawk. While the hairstyle isn't consistent with descriptions of the cryptid, the corpse looked frightening enough. It was described as having the body shape of a pig, lacking hair, and having hind legs that appear shorter than its front legs. Locals took to calling the bizarre beast the San Diego Demonoid. Now, the fellow who found it said he and his mates were, quote, pretty tripped up about it. Now, would that trip you up as well? Belarusian Goat Sucker So we told you about the Chupacabra in Ukraine. Here's a report about it turning up in Belarus. Farmers there have reported a mysterious beast that has been attacking and killing cattle. A local hunter managed to kill it, but it's unknown just what this critter might have been. Even a local veterinarian seems to be stumped. The specimen is said to resemble several creatures, including a hyena and a fox. It's even been theorized the animal might be a mutant amalgam of several species. Due to its appearance and its habit of killing farm animals, there's a growing belief that it could in fact be a transplanted chupacabra. But another theory involves the animal being the result of raccoon dogs that were bred on Soviet farms in the late 1930s, but were later released when World War II started. Whatever it is, the local vet said he would burn the animal's corpse, apparently to prevent the critter from coming back to life. What is it? Now we found this story that was strange even by Chupacabra standards. A viral video appeared in 2016 that claimed to show a Chupacabra wandering through a desert region. While the images are blurry, they do seem to depict a humanoid shape that is shambling through the area. The beast appears to blend in well with its environment, and its appearance has made some viewers think it might be a form of Bigfoot. But there are just as many claims that it could be a Chupacabra. The original reports of the cryptid did indicate they were by pedal creatures, and we'll talk about that some more in the final segment. But as for this creature, we couldn't find a definitive location for where the footage was shot. Some sources mentioned Portugal, while others indicated it could be the southwestern US. Whatever it is, the beast's appearance has left more questions than answers. Cuero Chupacabra The remains of an unsightly animal with large ears was located in southern Texas, and one of the people who found it said the bodies of three such animals were found near a ranch in Cuero, Texas. The carcasses were found over a period of four days, and each was thought to weigh around 40 pounds. The ranch had reportedly been plagued by unidentified creatures that had stolen cats and allegedly sucked chickens dry. That behavior would seem to coincide with the cryptids seeming to snack on farm animals. Locals believe the carcasses might be the remains of those creatures, and the head of one of the hairless beasts was preserved in order to make a DNA analysis to establish its identity. And before getting to the number one sighting, here are a couple of honorable mentions. A lady in North Carolina snapped this picture of what she termed a devil dog. It seems to depict a furry beast with its tail tied to a stick. It was sent to a local news site with the quote, Chupacabras do exist. And then in Oklahoma, a woman named Vonda Thedford says she was driving along when she spotted a mysterious carcass by the road. After taking photos of the bizarre looking beast, no one has apparently been able to identify just what the critter might be, but after ruling out the possibility of it being an extraterrestrial or a baby Bigfoot, Miss Thedford has concluded the unusual critter is a chupacabra. The original chupacabra so, you've likely noticed that many of these chupacabra sightings involve critters that have a resemblance to canines. But the creature was first reported back in 1995 in Puerto Rico in the wake of several bloody attacks on livestock, and descriptions provided by witnesses back then were a whole lot different than what we hear today. The chupacabra then was said to be a bipedal animal with huge black eyes that stood around four feet tall. By the end of 1995, over a thousand animal deaths had been blamed on the chupacabra. And by then, the description had changed a bit. It was still bipedal, but had gray skin, blazing red eyes, stood around five feet tall, and had long quills along its spine that might have served as wings. 
Many witnesses remarked it had a reptilian appearance and would even hop around like a kangaroo. And since then, reports of the elusive cryptid seem to fall into one of two categories. In Puerto Rico and Latin America, the creature seems to match up with that reptilian description more, while descriptions from the US and certain locations in Europe tend to match that of mammals, especially canids. Why do you think that is?